<gasps> I don't want to do this today. I really don't want to do this today. Like, I don't have the energy for this right now. But I have to do this. So I'm giving myself 10 minutes to catch up with my life and to gather myself, pull myself towards myself. Then I'm going to do this. Let's try. I'll set an alarm. I'll set an alarm. Once the alarm goes off, I work. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, si Siri. <sighs> Siri. Siri. <clears throat> Siri. Let me fix the twang. Hey, Siri. Please set the alarm for 10 minutes time. I've set an alarm for 6.50. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try Work till I die, till I die, till I die I'm gonna fail and get up Cause I'm not giving up on my dream Hey gorgeous and welcome to my channel I'm Kapanesh Mange and this is How I Do Things The show where you send me your questions And I let you know how I would do things Now you can use it as entertainment or take it as advice Use it, don't use it Take it, don't take it Do what you will with it I'm no pro. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, it's a motivation Monday. But the truth is sometimes we just wake up and we're really demotivated. You have a to-do list, things that you want to do. Even, you know, that time when you go to sleep and you're just, you're like, tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And you just go to sleep, you're pumped and you're ready for the next morning. The next morning comes around and you're just like, meh. I'm not really sure about this thing. Uh, I don't feel like doing this today. Being demotivated happens. And this is one of the biggest culprits when it comes to procrastination. Because we're not motivated to do the thing that we want to do, we end up procrastinating on it. So how do we work around this thing? How do we actually get motivated? How do we move past the point where we're just like, I don't want to do this thing. It can go jump off a cliff. How do we get from that to actually doing the things that we want to do and getting our life together, getting things done. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here. It is in my Insta story highlights. All you have to do is go to my profile at Kopanashimange. Look for the lavender circle that says how I do things reply and you can send your questions about being a woman, about being a boss, about being anything. Just send me your questions because that's how the show works. You send me your question, I do a video all about it. Now, before we get into the five things you need to do to get motivated, I need to find out something from you real quick, just real quick. Have you subscribed to my channel? Have you? Huh? Tell the truth. If you have not subscribed, there's a word at the bottom. It says subscribe down here. All you have to do is click on it. It's completely free. No deductions are coming off your account. Nobody's going to judge you. Actually, you're going to join this group of amazing people over here on this side of the world who enjoy being part of the gorgeous gang. Every single morning at 7.30, I load a brand new video all about us as women, as ladies, spilling the tea on things that make us live our best lives. And if you want to get notifications all about that, then you need to subscribe and you need to, you need to hit the notification bell. Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this video. So you're feeling a little demotivated? Here's the thing that you need to know. Number one, you actually don't have to be motivated all the time. You don't always have to be highly motivated. That person who's a go-getter. You wake up in the morning, you're just like, yes, ah, ooh, ah, I can do this. You don't have to be that person. You really don't. You don't have to be that person all the time. You don't even have to be that person at all, any time of the day or any time of the year. Here's the thing about motivation. It's like a car and petrol. A car needs petrol in order for it to move, right? Sometimes that car has a full tank and that car is pumped, it's going, right? And sometimes it has a low tank. But as long as there's just a little bit of petrol in the car, it will still move. That's how our motivation is. We don't have to have a full tank in order for us to move. As long as there's just a little bit of fuel for us to move, we can get things done. So it's okay, number one, just forgive yourself for actually not being highly motivated all the time. You don't have to be. It's okay, it's okay. Number two, get moving. 
Movement is motivating. You need to move, do something, anything. Wash the dishes, get up, clean your house. Anything that will mean that you won't be sitting on your butt on the couch watching Netflix, you need to do that thing. Here's the thing about demotivation. It is very, very good at getting us to just sit and do nothing. And that is a problem. When you feel demotivated, but you have energy of any sort, then you need to get moving. What this does is that action actually helps us to build motivation for us to do the thing that we need to do. This is what I do sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I actually don't feel like doing the things that I have to do, I'll do the dishes or I'll clean the kitchen. There's something about cleaning the kitchen when you just see the transformation that happens in the kitchen, you're just like, oh, I love this. That really helps me to get motivated. My studio is almost always a mess and cleaning that up helps me to get motivated. I'm in the studio every morning. I'm changing clothes, doing my makeup, doing my hair. So all of those things end up being outside instead of inside where they're supposed to be. So cleaning that up and seeing the transformation of my studio really helps to get me motivated. So what can you do? For me, it's cleaning. For you, it may be a walk, taking a run. It may be something completely different. Maybe cleaning your car, going for a car wash, whatever it is. Point is you need to get moving and accomplish something really small because action helps to build the motivation movement builds motivation number three set your life up so you don't actually have to rely on motivation here's the thing motivation like willpower they run low it's like petrol in that car right the car is full of petrol but as you keep moving as you keep driving that petrol decreases and decreases and then it gets to the low part with amper empty and in life, we also get to those places in terms of our willpower and our motivation. They're not supposed to be there all the time. And sometimes our willpower is really low. We really just want to sit, especially on those cloudy days. It's been raining and it's cut of weather and you're just thinking to yourself, ooh, that blanket on me would be so great. We can't rely on motivation and we can't rely on willpower that we're setting ourselves up to fail if that's what we're going to rely on in order to achieve the things that we want to achieve. So what do you do? What is the alternative? You need to set up good habits. Okay, back it up. When you speak about habits, I switch off. A lot of people switch off. I switch off also. Even though I've got good habits, I also switch off. As soon as somebody says build a good habit, a new habit, I'm just like, Here's the thing about habits. It's actually about setting triggers, right? Because we also get very demotivated to do things that are in our habits. However, if you set up triggers, then we train ourselves to do something as a result of something else. So when this video is done, I want you to go and Google the Pavlovian effect or a Pavlovian response. What it actually means is it's conditioning that is specifically related to a trigger. So for example, I'm terrible at taking daily medication. So when it came to me taking my preggy vitamins, I was just like, listen, this is going to go terribly. I'm going to skip days. So what I did is I set myself a trigger and I repeated this over and over again. And I built what you call a reflex. So, you know, when you hit someone in a specific place, they jerk, it's called a reflex, right? Or when somebody's throwing a ball at you and you, and you jerk and you push the ball away, it's called a reflex, something that you do automatically as a result of something else. And that's what a Pavlovian effect is or a Pavlovian response. Something that you do as a result of something happening. So what I did for my preggy vitamins is that I would put them next to the bed. When you're pregnant, you get super thirsty. So I'd always go to bed with a glass of water. Every time I put my glass of water down, I'd see my vitamins and I'd take them before I go to sleep. Now, if they weren't there, I I kid you not, I would not take the vitamins because they're not there. So what triggers do you need to put in place that will make you react in a specific way? Is it waking up early in the morning that you really can't do it? You cannot be motivated to wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning? Then how about you set your alarm in the TV room? Because we all know across the room is not good enough, okay? You set your alarm and you put your phone and your slippers all the way in the TV room. What does that mean? The alarm goes off, you have to go barefooted, you find your slippers that side, and then your day begins. 
that is what we call a Pavlovian effect. You want to set a trigger that's going to force you to react in a specific way. And you want to do this over and over and over again until it's set in your brain and you are now conditioned to react in this way. And that's how you build habits. You set triggers all over your life and you train yourself to react to those triggers in a specific way then it just becomes habit it becomes second nature to you that when the alarm rings even if it's in the tv room or it's in the bedroom you get up then later on in your life you know that i have to do this thing with this trigger in place i will always do the work i need to do number four is to do the one thing a lot of the times when we are not motivated to complete a specific task, it is because the task is a bit too big and we actually haven't broken it down to actionable steps that we can take to complete the task. So for example, you've told yourself that you're going to record a YouTube video. Now you have been circling around this thing and you're not motivated to do it, even though you really want the video, you just can't find the motivation to sit down and do the video. So if you cannot bring yourself to do it, take a piece of paper and a pen and break down the task into actionable steps. Upload a YouTube video is a very big task because once you break that down, you have to set up your camera, put on your makeup, choose a clothing, detail what are you going to speak about? So what key points are you going to speak about? What is the video actually going to be about? Then you have to edit, find music, upload, and then after these seven steps, that's when you actually have published a YouTube video. So instead of having the task as publish the YouTube video, break it down into smaller tasks. And all you need to do is just task number one. If the smaller task is just for you to do the skeleton of what the video is going to be about, do that. And that will actually motivate you to keep going. If it means that you have to break the task down over three days, it's fine. The point is the task is going to eventually get done and you get motivated to finish each little task because you may think to yourself, if I detail the thing, then I set up my camera, then I set out my clothes, then tomorrow when I wake up, it's going to be really easy for me to do this video. Just like that, you found the motivation for you to actually complete the task. And finally, number five, be successful. What do I mean by that? One of my favorite authors, Robin Sharma, wrote in his book, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, that successful people are able to do things that they like and the things that they dislike with the same amount of ease. That line was so powerful, it hit me in the heart. Now, if you feel demotivated and you're not, you don't have the energy to do the thing that you want to do, a lot of the times it's because it's associated to something that we dislike or something that is negative towards us. But we need to find a way in order for us to do things that we like and the things that we dislike with the same amount of ease. You have to understand that it is a choice. It is a choice for you not to do the things that you dislike. However, if you move that association, if you say that, you know what, I hate editing, then you move the association and you say, but I love publishing videos. So the one thing that stands in between your way, between you and the thing that you like is editing the video. You've now moved the association. You're no longer thinking about the thing that you dislike, but you're thinking about the thing that you like. And editing that video is the thing that's standing in between you and the thing that you like. So you have to get it done. Being demotivated is actually something that happens all the time and it is okay. But if we set up triggers in our life in order to help us to react in ways that are positive for us, if we're able to look at the activities that we have, break them down into smaller tasks, we are able to find the motivation. And sometimes we need to move in order to build the motivation within us. It's okay to feel demotivated, but you can work through it. The one thing you don't want is to let that demotivation cause you to procrastinate over days and days and days. Because the more you procrastinate, the further your dream and your goal steps away from you, the harder it becomes for you to go after the things that you love. My darling, it's okay to be demotivated. We'll work right through it. Now, that's it for how I do things today. It is a Motivation Monday, and I hope that this video helped you to get the motivation that you need to move through the things that you need to move through this week. It's been an absolute pleasure, my darling, and I hope that I see you tomorrow at 7.30 South African time for a brand new upload and premiere. To everybody who's here in the morning party, good morning, and I hope that you enjoyed this one. Until tomorrow, beautiful people, I'm Kapana Shimange, and this is How I Do Things. Hey 
gorgeous thank you so much for making it to the end of my video thank you thank you thank you so much i hope that you enjoyed it now if you have not given this video a big thumbs up do it now and you have not subscribed click on my face it's right here it will help you to subscribe it's so easy if you have not gone to my website head over to www.kopanishmanke.com and do so now so that you can be part of the gorgeous gang and get access to my new free ebook the seven hacks to to boost your confidence and until next time I appreciate you so much and thank you for joining me. Mwah.